This video is brought to you by G Fuel. More on them after the reaction. Real Rejects got invited back to WonderCon. Come geek out with us in person Sunday, March 31st, Reject Nation. Say us into the Reject Nation. Ah! <laughs> Guys, look who's back. It's me! <laughs> After a very long <laughs> COVID situation, mm -hmm. the last movie we saw was Percy Jackson. And then I greeted Tara and I said, get in here. Yeah. We're watching the sequel to Percy Jackson, Tara. How do you feel being back? I feel so much better. I miss you guys so, so much. I'm so happy to be here. I know it was a super, super long time. I went through a bunch of stuff. stuff. <laughs> and you guys were there and you supported and I love you for that. And now I'm back, baby. And we're going to do the thing. I am so excited. For I'm telling you, the entire time the Percy Jackson show was out, people would get mad at me <laughs> for covering other things. <laughs> and I'm like, guys, Tara is suffering right I'm now. I'm suffering. I cannot. Nope. It's not going to happen. So here's the deal, guys. Season one is done. If enough people watch the sequel, to which I hear people love this movie, they say it's the best thing Percy Jackson has ever been. So if enough people watch this, maybe we'll start up the show right afterwards. Uh, because we know that, you know, algorithm stuff, you usually want to do shows right when the thing is dropping. Or we'll wait closer to season two and gear for that. So we can be right on time with season two. But regardless, yeah, Tara, I'm just happy you're back. Me too. We talked for like an hour beforehand. And now it's time to watch this movie. So, Tara, do you want to do the honors of saying the stuff that they have to do? Do you remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You guys, you don't forget to like this. You better get in there. You got to leave a comment. Tell how amazing this is, how amazing we are, all the good things, love and support. And also, don't forget to ring the bell. <laughs> The bell. Oh, I know you guys I, missed that. Um, oh, 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 Patreon. Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, Prepper. <laughs> Thank you to Prepper for helping us edit down these videos. We appreciate you. Also, if you're not on Patreon already and giving the funds to the Patreon, you must. Um, because it's good to do that thing for us and for you also. Because you get to watch full reaction with me and Gregory if you're on the Patreon. That's why you get to get on there and watch the whole thing. Oh, my God. What's the last thing? I think we just watched the movie now. We just watched I did it. You did it. You I did, did it. it. We love you so much. And we love you, Tara. Happy you're back. Me Let's too. watch it. Let's do it. That's soothing. I'm going to give this movie a chance. This is reminding me of The Little Mermaid, like singing and it seems like water. What if we end up loving this when no one when else no does? When no one else does? <laughs> I like the music, like the boom. At first, I didn't believe it either, but the gods of Olympus are real. Recap, necessary recap. And yeah. sometimes these gods have children with humans called Half-Blood. I'm one of them. I'm Percy Jackson, son of Poseidon, god of the sea. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's cool. So this time we actually get to go to the waters. I love it. Seven years ago, four of these children were headed to Camp half -Blood. They are giving us a necessary recap. Yeah. We didn't spend 20 minutes looking up a recap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is this his Whoa, is this backstory? him as like a kid? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> That's how Grover got hurt. So he needs the cane? Keep going. I'll hold them off. No, Talia, they'll kill you. Talia? Go, Luke. Go, I'll be right behind you. When Luke was an all right guy. Kick its ass, Talia. Yeah, get it, girl. She sent them away. And she's like, I'm a fight. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Talia! Whoa. Her name was Talia. I got that. <laughs> <laughs> she gave her life. Oh, man. To save three. I thought she'd like get a few more stabs in there. As Talia lay dying, her father, Zeus, found another way for her to live. <gasps> oh, he's wow. related. Oh, I mean, or Annabeth. Is she a tree? 
Yeah, that's kind of gorgeous. Whoa. A way for all Half-Bloods to live. A gift to ensure no one in Camp Half-Blood would die the same way. Oh, she created a barrier, a shield for everyone. Barrier. Oh. To protect them from those who lived for their death. Cool. We're in trouble, Tara. Oh, we're enjoying man. the they're movie. Gonna, they're going to break or we're already in trouble. <laughs> The story of Talia's bravery inspires me, and her tree protects my home. Oh, so pretty. I want to go to there. Not always my head. Oh, new hairdo. <laughs> hey. Oh my God, they're so much more modern. How nice of you to show up just to watch me win. You know, everything they say about you is wrong, Clarice. You actually do have a sense of humor. Is that a, do you love interest? Yeah, I'm like, that girl wasn't in the last movie, right? I don't think so. Oh, this thing is cool. There goes another one. Oh, Percy! Oh, she's back. Oh, okay. there she is. Okay. Percy, I got 50 drop more on you. Do you bet on this? What, is that wrong? Uh, oh. That's Stanley Tucci. Oh, I love him. Would you like a taste? Why? Why do you torture yourself, Dionysus? <gasps> is that Giles from Buffy? How was I to know that Zeus had a thing for her that he could hold a grudge for so long? Uh, he is so good in this genre. Oh, fascinating. He's huh. I think the fact that Zeus is immortal means there's no limit to how long he can hold the crust. Oh. You know, Christians have a guy who can do this trick in reverse. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, maybe Jesus was supposed to come in the third one. Oh. I would never survive this game. This is way too athletic for me. Actually, maybe I would. I have a lot of gall. <laughs> <laughs> and by gall, I mean balls. <laughs> Come on, girl. Oh, wow. That was a lot, sir. <laughs> These are cool POV shots. Yeah. So light him up. Light him up. Okay. Light him up. Oh, you're so cool, Percy. Darius, grab my hand. Good luck with that. Okay, biash. Oh, you the shit, Percy. Yeah. He's helping people out. Oh! Thank you! Whoa, okay, girl. I need to learn to do one of those flips. Yay, even though you seem not nice, I don't want to really root for you, but good job. I love how this obstacle course doesn't feel Olympian at all. At all. It is no. just like a it feels regular like that, obstacle course. It feels like that reality show on CBS, and that's what they set up. Beginner's luck, wasn't it? He saved Olympus. That's more than you've ever done. Whatever. Even for the daughter of the God of War, that girl's a mythic. Don't listen to her. Oh, she's the daughter of Ares. You're more than a one quest wonder. You recovered Ares stole. A one quest wonder? No, actually, that was Clarice. Yeah, the Solstice Games, the Bronze Dragon's Quest. Thank you for trying to cheer me up. How do you have such a bad memory? Yeah, I'm like, weren't they there? <laughs> it doesn't matter what Clarice has done. To Chiron and Mr. D, you're still the rock star. Perry Johnson. Perry. I have a very important task to entrust you with, and it's very taxing. Can I trust you? Uh, of course. Good. You'll need this. Cool. Clean up all the confetti. You know, these events get a little messy. You know, I personally like rake. Me too. I love a good gardening session. It is actually enjoyable to like rake the leaves. It is a like, I like cleaning dishes and raking. Maybe Clarice was right. Maybe I only stopped Luke from destroying Olympus because I had Annabeth and Grover helping me, right? That's kind of a good thing. Dad? Poseidon? They're shooting this one a lot darker. Yeah. Have you ever felt like everything you'd ever done, maybe you didn't really do it? Oh, he's struggling with his worth. It was all just luck or something? No, man, you're the son of Poseidon. You're a god speaking as someone who's not. It sucks. You got a part of God. You're like a demi. Makes you question whether you're all that good to begin with. This is like when I would talk with my dad. And <laughs> he would just not respond. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to go to the water and just have it heal me. Like, oh my God, you are way too late, Dad. Like, why when he turns his back? I think he wants him to learn on his own. That seems he lumbered, actually. I don't care if he sashayed. What's the point of having this mystical protective barrier? If anything can just... Could you not touch that, please? <laughs> I think the point is since he did pass right through the barrier from Talia's tree. Don't say. It means he's most likely a godspawn. 
Okay, this POV shot's kind of cool. Yeah, but the spawn of Witch God. I know. Poseidon. What? What? Percy or... got a brother? Right. Uh. Okay. That was so quirky. Yeah, and especially the different, the POV shot was like, okay. I'm sure you don't get something to the big house without a major league screw up. I, I cleaned the entire Coliseum and vacuumed. Don't let him get into your head, okay? You vacuum dirt? <laughs> yeah. That's weird. What, what did you vacuum exactly? Yeah. Don't worry. It's just Mr. D. I mean, if Chiron had summoned you, then... Uh-oh. Oh, you're so massively screwed. Oh, this one's a lot more jokey. As you know, you are believed to be Poseidon's only heir. So it would seem that belief has been held in error. Oh, who plays the brother? Yeah. Hold on, you're saying Percy has a brother? Or a sister. No, it was a dude. I wish it was a sister. Another Poseidon had blood. Not exactly. He's a full blood? Nymph. See nymph? Ah. Uh, it's a good verse for me to just don't. Hi. Whoa! Whoa. That is suspect. I would just be like, whoa, man, the one eye thing's throwing me off. I'd be like, can I touch it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That is disturbing. It it's really a is <laughs> hard to like look at. So you're the big shot here, right? You saved the world and stuff. That is so uncanny. Hey, they put peppers in yours. Are you going to eat that? Hey, go ahead. Where are the peppers? Those look like eggs and grapes. This must be some kind of joke. I mean, a half brother, Cyclops. Come on. He, he has two ears. I like having a brother. Dad was cool to bring me here. Dad brought you here? I was upstate, the woods. One day, this trident shows up over my head, then it started moving south. You, you followed it here. It glowed. Guys, I feel like when I'm looking at him, I kind of go cross eyed because it's just the one eye. <laughs> you, know, you gotta wait. Like, I'm like, oh, I hope I get used to it. See, he's got his daddy's eyes. <laughs> you should really get him some sprayableness. Oh, hell no. Well, it's one thing if we're making fun of him, but if right. you guys and are, you're a bunch yeah, of bullies. Knock it off. <laughs> Maybe Poseidon decided he needed another son to, you know, represent. Okay, Clarissa. Bull. Excuse me? Smells like bull. Shit. Oh, he meant oh, a literal. Oh, he meant like a literal bull. Okay. <laughs> we got barrier action. Everyone just be coming through this barrier. Hey, Chris, you coming? No, I'm good. Oh, my um, God, you're handsome. Okay, yeah, but also, why are you there then, Chris? That's <laughs> so awesome. Is it? It's chill. The barrier's holding. Oh, whoa. whoa, that quickly? Okay. Hey, Gold Bull. Oh, this bull. Run! Guys, just find the person with the red shirt. I like the design, but I will say it's a little weird looking. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a cartoon. Yes. <laughs> Okay, is it like a transformer what the too? Shit? What the hell? Okay, it's a bull transformer. Oh yeah, the sword. Oh, cool. Yeah, grab your sticks. Percy, distract it from me. Uh, Whoa, it is just a transformer. Okay, yeah. Hey! Yeah, good. I was like, find a red T-shirt. Good. Go. Just gonna take a hunch here on where the weak spot is, huh? Yeah. Uh, uh, oh no. Uh oh. Okay. Did nothing. Good job, though. <laughs> She's riding a mechanical bull. bull. <laughs> oh. oh, Cyclops. Oh, hey. God, you're going to get burned to death. Oh, it doesn't matter for him? Bad bull. <laughs> hey, Rust Bucket! Oh. 
Please tell me that did the trick. Nope. Oh. Okay. Oh. Maybe we should have tied that around a tree or something. <laughs> Whoa, he is he messed up. He beat up. Oh, he's so... Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, and now you get burned to death? Or is he out of fire? Oh, neat. Okay. Cool. That was smart. That was smart, Percy. To the heart. Bye bye, Transformer Bull. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> what is happening? Oh my God. I thought he would just be like a cool gold decoration, but apparently he blew up into black shard. Epic. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> Where is the gold? The gold is nowhere to be found. What a tone. Do you have any idea how hard his bulls are to come back? Oh, Luke is out for revenge. Maybe next time you try to drown someone. Rising through the ashes. Turns out you're not the only half blood who's hard to kill. You know, prophecy. See, what are you talking about? You don't know. Please tell us. Yeah. Explain, sir. They don't care about us. To them, we're just a bunch of pawns meant to be pushed around, told what to do. I'm not the only half-blood who thinks so. Ooh, there's gonna be a civil war. Think about it. Uh-oh. Now he's got him questioning himself. When he's already questioning himself. I know, and now all the people around him. How come you aren't barbecued? Cyclops are fireproof. How did the bull get through the barrier? How are your clothes fireproof? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, the tree's dying. The barrier's been broken. Oh, oh no. Girl didn't hold up. What happened to her? Did y'all not water her? <laughs> you all not water <laughs> her. <laughs> oh. Poison. Is she is the tree dead? No, but dying. Oh, is that our mission? condition we're about to become all too familiar with. Everybody, we're going to need a guard detail to patrol the perimeter. I feel like she's dying all over again. Just one guard? I think you need multiple. I'm gonna let the bull in. Without the tree's barrier, probably figures there's enough demi-titans out there to get him what he wants. And that would be what, exactly? Our annihilation, Miss LaRue. Our annihilation. What is that? Blue juice. So... I'm confused. Is this Pierce Brosnan's replacement? That's or is this what a new I was character? wondering the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Forgot Pierce Brosnan's character. Did. Something Luke said about a prophecy, how I mentioned in it. Do you know anything about this? Knowledge isn't always power, Percy. Sometimes it's a burden. I'm clearly hiding something. Hercules bow, golden apple of discord. <sighs> Three millennia of gods and demigods. You think that someone would have come up with a cure for Talia's tree? Persephone did come up with Miracle Grow. I mean, we could try that. And water. Right here. That is not going to cure Tyler's tree so much as get us all killed. Me in particular. I'm taking this to Mr. D. No. MacGuffin time. We still have not seen him walk with his goat legs yet. I know. <laughs> he's holding back. <laughs> right? I was hoping to spare you this onus a little while longer, but go inside upstairs to the attic. When you come back down, we'll talk some more, assuming you're still sane. Okay. Man, there's a lot happening in this first 30 minutes. Yeah. The creepy attic. Welcome. He's got a half brother. Question is self. Luke is back. He's Tali is a, dying. He's got a story hidden in there that he just has to figure out amongst all of this junk. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh, oh, Whoa. that looks cool. <laughs> I like that. Speaker of the prophecies of Phoebus Apollo, slayer of the mighty Python, approach seeker. And I, Who is that voice? Is that some hike? There was a prophecy about me? I. But before you learn the future, know first the past. That does sound like her, a little bit. I'm not sure. Long ago, before our time. Oh, neat. Before Olympus and the gods, Titans ruled the world. This is psychedelic. That's awesome. Led by Kronos, a force so evil he devoured his own children. The three of his sons escaped. Zeus, Hades, and Poseidon. Okay, 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 okay cool. I've never seen animation quite like this. They 
destroyed Kronos and vanished his remains to the depths of Tartarus. Kronos is fated to rise again to exact his vengeance on Olympus. God damn it. Uh-oh. Only one half-blood child of the three eldest gods can defeat him. How? Oh, purse. I mean, he had a sword and everything. <laughs> it all begins when two cousins grapple for a fleece. Cousins grapple for a fleece. The son of the sea. Oh, and him and lightning yeah, thief. Douche. Luke. Yeah. And that half blood of the eldest gods shall reach twenty against all odds. <laughs> it looks like an animatronic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cursed blade shall reap. A single choice shall end his days. Olympus to preserve or raise. What a memory. Is there any chance at all that I might not be the guy in the prophecy? Could be his half brother. But he's not a half blood. What if I destroy Olympus by not being good enough to save it? That seems to be the question, doesn't it? Well, get good enough. Yeah. Go train again, sir. The golden fleece can heal any living person or thing, including Talia's tree. We heal the tree, we restore the barrier around camp. I'm surprised you want to go along with her on this, Mr. Undershirt. Underwood. Whatever. You're a terrible mentor. Yeah. <laughs> the last I heard, the golden fleece was in the Sea of Monsters. Here we go. It's called the Bermuda Triangle. Ooh. Not only a satyr should be afraid of. So, the answer is no. Yes. Who can navigate the sea? It's a terrible idea. I've had a grand idea. Hey, you okay? Don't worry, camp will be okay. You gotta have faith, right? It's easier to uh, talk to you with the shades on. Yeah. <laughs> and after great study, I have determined that the only thing that has the power to save Talia's tree and therefore our home is the golden fleece of myth. What? <laughs> Whose touch can, do all right. can heal every person and everything. A mission of mercy, if you will, into uncharted and deadly waters with nothing less at stake than our own survival. There is something really off about the rhythm of this movie. Mm-hmm. Especially the comedic timing of it. Ignite, will you guide the champion? Oh, yeah. Good. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Who that champion might be, our plight calls for only our finest hero. Clarissa, or whatever her name is. The scion of the god of war! Clarice. Clarice. Oh, they're really making this a fun adventure. Hey, Clarice. Oh, don't worry about always coming in second, Jackson. You do get used to it. Hmm. Okay. Luke is still out there. He's involved with the fleece somehow and feeling that he's not done yet. Really? I've got a feeling that I don't really care. Listen, there are generals and there are foot soldiers. And you should feel lucky that you even made it into the army at all. I feel like the way this the tone is being struck is undercutting a lot of the stakes. I agree. Like with the jokes, with the physicality, stuff like that, cutting to certain things that they're trying to get mini There's, stories going on that makes you like, haha, that's cute. Some people are apathetic and some are trying to be intense. Yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> what good is a prophecy if you can't even understand it? Guess you don't have any answers either, Dad. Go to the sea. Why would you not send the son of Poseidon to go to the sea? <laughs> <laughs> Oracle says he wrestles Luke for the fleece. But she also said that I'm destined to destroy Olympus or save it. Let me pack a bag and make sure my health insurance is paid up. You guys have health insurance? Why? I think he's being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a lot of these jokes are not really feeding like I would like them to. <laughs> Okay, so how are we gonna get past them? I think we're cool as long as we stay quiet. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, new companion. You left without me. Where we're going, it's very dangerous. I know, I'm not stupid. No, just dumb. He's a god. He's fireproof, y'all. You do it for me. I, I appreciate that, but... Can you put your shades on? Yeah, <laughs> like when they come off, I'm like, I can't. Fleece is guarded by Polyphemus. Oh my god, it makes it so much easier to look at him if you close one eye. <laughs> Think Cyclops have got to someone famous? Captured Odysseus? Lives in Circe land? Maybe I could talk to him. No, you can't because I'm not going with the Cyclops. He's a sweet guy, though. Yeah, and he has a good energy. He's optimistic. This Polyphemus is probably what killed every satyr that's going near the Fleece. You want me to lead you to a Cyclops 5, but I'm bringing along one of my own for protection. He's so loud. Was there some like requisite joke note that they were required to hit in this movie? Right, because they're really <laughs> trying to hit him. This is crazy hard to come by. And I only brought it along in case of emergency, which I guess this is an emergency. So it makes the mystical look normal. Oh my God. It 
Now we're gonna see what he looks like. If camp wasn't in danger, I wouldn't be wasting this on you. Wasting what? Oh, oh way to Ooh. save some money on the budget. It's not gonna last forever. You're gonna have to reapply it. Wow, for a story about self-acceptance, this is kind of messed up. Right. Who is it? At first, he looks By like- Brendan Fraser. Yes! <laughs> Thank you, because I was hard, having a hard time finding the name. Over here. Annie, hey! Oh, like alien lights. E.T. Phone home. Wow, that feels very Harry Potter. Yeah, it does. Looks like a New York City cab. Yes. No dollars, no credit cards, drachmas only. Exact shape. Hey. Cool. That was cool. When they do these like haunted mansion they're vibes, awesome. they're pretty cool. Yeah. Excuse me, we're trying to get to Florida. Our kind of fair. Pricey. Yeah, I like cool. the like, horror I love quirks. those. <laughs> yeah, and those pickup shots are awesome. Come bear to Zeus. And when I'm out buying wine for the Lord of the Skies, I always remember to buckle up. Oh, weird. Ah! Look out! What oh, the hell? Super sped up. Ugh. We didn't know what we were doing. We wouldn't be licensed. <laughs> Hurry. They don't have eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Wasp always puts it with the keys. Uh, and it's 2020. <laughs> Shouldn't the driver get the eye? <laughs> Tempest split! <laughs> Choose a side, buddy. The driver should have the eyeball. He's a freaking genius. You're the one that put it in the visor. While it's on the table, I haven't had a turn in quite some time. Oh! This is so weird. Yeah, it is very. It's this like a wild totally wagon. different movie right now. <laughs> what is Whoa. happening? Oh my god. Okay. Prophecy said you're gonna make it till at least twenty. You know about the prophecy? Oh sure. The oracles are friends. We're besties. Be <laughs> ever. Yeah. He's got it. What do you know about the prophecy? Wacky, wild, and weird. 30, 31, <laughs> 75, 12. Are those lotto numbers, baby? All, all I got were numbers. Yes, you know when it matters. I think we're a little short on drachmas. What? It's not bad makeup, it, though, on them. Yeah, and it reminds me of the guy who did Nightmare Before Christmas. What's his name? Tim Burton? Yes, that, that reminded me of a Tim Burton-esque. <laughs> Okay. There's some charming elements there. Can I get a uh, four fifty half calf no whip latte? No whip. Uh, extra shot of nectar. Tesseres Ambrosias, take a nectar. Paraftika. Nectar? You haven't had, you haven't lived, buddy. Cool. Now that is a coffee shop I would go to. Yes, me too. Uh, Rub cream? Nectar. What does it look like to them? When he's moving all them cups, all, <laughs> right? Like, what do humans view that as? <laughs> I, because they had that shot at the end where you just look normal. Yeah. So, so I'm like, is it so him. fast that they don't see it? You know, technically, we don't have the same mom, so we're so. still brothers. I know. How cool is that? He's nice. Yeah. Annoying. Yeah, but he's sweet. But he's nice. Uh, okay. Whoa, okay. Oh. Grover! How did they do that? Back at camp, Luke said that there were other half-bloods who turned to his side. Luke has Grover. Yes. <laughs> he, he definitely does. We, yeah. we were there, sir. We also <laughs> the exposition in this is a little too much. If we're going to get Grover back, we need to find Luke. But we don't know where he is. Maybe they just thought the audience was asleep half the time. Yeah, this feels like notes. Yeah, <laughs> like just, like put in all the notes <laughs> and we're good. You want to find Luke? His dad will know where he is. Oh, yeah, he can rearrange the letters. So maybe that's this. Oh. Like it? He'll love it. Yes, yeah, Festus does do. Nathan <gasps> Fillion. I love him. 
You guys, I have such a crush on him. I love him so much. I like the idea of trying to flesh out the human world that where the gods are living amongst more amongst us. Yeah. Um, his son, actually, it's kind of important. Yeah, yeah. Tell them when you burst in, you're all rude like. His son's name is Lucas Stellan. Oh, he's Hermes. Oh, what is that wayward boy of mine gotten himself into now? You're Hermes. A little insulted you didn't recognize me. My feelings might have even been hurt. I wasn't such a self-confident individual. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm killing these shorts. <laughs> <laughs> like he's funny. <laughs> Follow. Transition. Check it out. State of the art sorting, processing, and packaging facility for the fastest growing Olympian industry. It took a while to get up and running. Now, this is a good energy. Mm -hmm. I agree. But I think it's because think of it's him. him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, Martha, it's not easy for him. He's the god of freaking speed. Well, except he's not the one whose butt is stuck to a big silver stick forever. Oh. Ooh, I love your hair. I wish my hair would do that. You're losing me again, movie. <laughs> <laughs> Mint condition from Hercules Bust Head, season one. Best TV show ever, so of course, canceled. <laughs> <laughs> that must be a meta joke. Mythical box sealer. I hold in my hands a matter eliminator trademark pending. Matter eliminator? Anything you outline with this will disappear. All right, thank you. Have you found Luke? Did he just say thank you? Luke's on a yacht called the Andromeda. It's passing by Chesapeake Beach as we speak. This movie's a little annoying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Glad to be yeah. back there. I don't want that. I just want more of him. Explain to him for me that uh, parents, we make mistakes sometimes. And he has every right to be angry at me. Just please tell him not to be angry with the world. If it's one thing I've learned in 3,000 years, it's you can't give up on family. Yeah, where's your mom? Yeah. They'll never make it. <laughs> I just want Nathan Fillion to be in the whole entire movie. I agree. We're like more than 45 minutes in and I still feel like the movie just started. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> like, I was like, if they started with that with Nathan, I'd be like a little more. What do we do? Swim? Yes. But it's water. That'll help. See, power of positive thinking. Hey, Dad, we're trying to save Camp Half-Blood and rescue a satyr named Grover. And we could really use your help getting to that ship out there. Sure thing, favorite son. <laughs> it's a nice try, big guy, but don't be upset when he doesn't. Wow, daddy has a favorite. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, daddy, come through. Oh, does he look like a dragon? Oh. Cool. Oh my God, that looks awesome. I want one. Hi, girl. Aww. I love her so much. Sometimes you just got to ask. <sighs> All I've been doing is asking. But have you been believing? Right. Not like Cyclops. Power of positive thinking. It's because he keeps his eye aligned. Giddy up. I was like, if it dives, does that mean they all have to hold their breath? Because that <laughs> one true. girl can't. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Cool. That's fun. I love how this is going for rousing. <laughs> this is <laughs> so silly. I know, right? <laughs> it's like they want the effect of like when How to Train Your Dragon takes off, except we're not. <laughs> they're, they're going for wonder, but it ain't. Yeah, but it it's not. It. It's just, it's a horse really like wading through water. <laughs> it's actors looking silly on <laughs> a green screen device. <laughs> <laughs> except the horse, the horse dragon fish is my favorite. The hippocampus or whatever they said. No, that's a part of your brain. Oh, they're about to meet a Colombian drug dealer. Ooh, get on this fancy yacht. Thank you, friend. Tyson. Come on, buddy, we gotta go. Uh, that was supposed to be so sentimental, and it wasn't that much of a... Want some sugar? Aww. I love you. Goodbye, hippocampus. You're my favorite. Bye. That's Chris Rodriguez, Ethan Nakamura, and Selena Beauregard. Looks better recruiting. Yes. <laughs> like, why did we say all those names? <laughs> Book's probably keeping him below deck somewhere, like in a brig. Follow me. I don't know how a yacht works. Follow they have me. a lower <laughs> deck, miss. I really went in with an open mind, guys. <laughs> 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 We're losing Gregory. I'm, I'm, just so, I'm so trying, honestly. <laughs> Percy. Percy. What? 
Do you have to make so much noise? What is that claw thing? Okay. It's like a scorpion. Ooh. Too? Like a. Okay. Some other half breed. Ooh, it's like a werewolf monkey. Chris. Hey, what have you done with Grover? You son of a bitch, Chris. <laughs> we saw you for one second, second. on camp. <laughs> you were like, nah, eating your breakfast, and we all thought you were a big jerk. Big reveal, you are. <laughs> big reveal, holy shit, mind blow. Huh. What a surprise. I don't know what this movie's going for. <laughs> I, can't, I just can't figure it out. We lost Greg <laughs> so hard. I'm a son of Poseidon, too. This Poseidon doesn't have any other half-blood son. I'm a Cyclops. Ooh. Missed. You don't say. We do say. He's a god, sir. Okay, where's Grover? Well, he should be in the Sea of Monsters right about now. I sent him on ahead with some friends, kind of on the clock. Sure. Okay. You're not just trying to stop us from getting the fleece. You're trying to use... I need it, too. I got something only the fleece can revive, and it's not a tree. Is it your personality? I had to crawl through the depths of Tartarus itself, then Cleveland. <laughs> The original Titan, father to the Olympians, and with the Fleece's help, destroyer of Olympus. You destroy the whole world just to what? To get back at your dad? The Olympians overthrew their parents. Ah. Uh, it's just our turn. We met your father. He said that he knows that he made mistakes, and he, he told us to tell you to not be so angry. Oh, good. Glad he did the talking. Yeah, that'll really convince him. And he couldn't even tell me himself. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Take him to the brig. Tolly, who was your friend, she sacrificed herself for you. You're gonna lecture me about Talia when you're hanging around with him? You disappoint me the most. What does what's wrong that with mean? The, uh, what's wrong what's with Cyclops? the Cyclops background? Did we? Okay. Is there a fact well, from the first movie? Will that be revealed? I don't know. This is tonally all over the place. Yeah, there's so many different, like, there's parts where I feel like they're like, let's do Tim Burton stuff, which is like the, and the yeah. tone of that. And then the, there's also 16 other tones, but <laughs> that was one that I. It's just like, this movie's just, and then this happens, and then this happens. Right. And then this happens. And then, then this happens. <laughs> oh, but we have to put them all together, right? To make sense. <laughs> oh, okay. Just like put the postcards together. We'll figure it out. <laughs> He was probably making all that noise on purpose. He wanted Luke to catch us. What do you have against Tyson, anyway? Yeah. He's a cyclops. They're vicious and they're dangerous. He seems so nice, though. Go into the backstory. Come on. Here. Yeah, like, we need to know. What did he do? Were the cyclops the ones who attacked Talia? Oh, uh, maybe? They were like shadowed creatures. We have to get out of here. How? Can't you control the sea? Yeah, can't you just, like, make it flood and open something? But then the thing in the water with <laughs> Hippocampus was, like, an animated. There you go, Percy. You remembered who you are. Half-blood of the sea. Um, what's going on? The perfect storm is what's going <laughs> on. I love that movie. Percy's trying to kill us. Ooh, I think he's working. She said that so seriously. That was supposed <laughs> yeah. to be sarcastic. Yeah. <laughs> that was so weird. Why wouldn't they give them the note? Like, you sounded really serious then, girl. You got it? Piece of cake. Yo. Oh, you can't breathe. handle that? It's my first mythical tape gun. Cool. Love it. That's pretty neat. Just like Hermes said, instant hole. Aw, little gorilla werewolf. Is this where all the monsters sleep? What is that claw? Does it belong? It's fine. No, it's all part of the same know. creature. Okay, got it. Whoa, it and is it's so daylight? bright right Why? now. What just happened? <laughs> What is going on? Kill the engines. Why? So that they can fight better? Yeah, I don't understand moving. that. Kill the. I love how they just have generic henchman weapons. Right, with like. <laughs> They're supposed to be. Why is it just generic henchman weapons? <laughs> Because this is the action part, film part. 
Wait, did she just touch that and knew how to open it? <laughs> Not so much. He's going to jump off the roof into that life raft and say, see you later. Join me, Percy. It's what you were meant to do. You can't escape that prophecy. Join what? Let's show both of our father. It's tempting. Oh, Cyclops. That's genius. Really. I think I'll pass. Okay, well, you could have helped him, girl. You have sea powers. Yeah, just like he's fine. He can just do the boat thing with his powers. Also, can't you also do water stuff, Cyclops? Yeah. Right? Like. But he gets seasick on the boat. Oh, right. <laughs> Weird. Cool. Might as well. <laughs> uh, oh my god. No. What? Oh. I did not think that's what this and this would this, come in handy for. I did not think like what? We didn't even Okay. Whoa. That's cool. Oh, Aquaman. You go, man. Surf that wave. Surf it, baby. so stilly. <laughs> Jackson, enough. Cut the wave. There is no emotion My in this God. movie. No, not at all. <laughs> they did... Yeah. Okay, bye. It's like all these moments feel like in a good movie, you're supposed to feel something, but you don't in this. Yeah, this movie is uh, super weightless. Yeah. Our allies in the Seder still have a head start on the fleece. <laughs> oh my god, this is too dramatic for this what is, just happened you before. Can't just cut right to this. You will know vengeance, and the Olympians who scorned us will know death. Oh man, this is such okay. a boring plot. I know book readers aren't the biggest fans of the first movie, but that one's at least fun. Yeah. I had I a got great a time with that first one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the this first is, one was a lot of fun. This is a uh, this is nothing else, man. You know you should reapply. It wore off. It's okay, buddy. We love you for who you are. It's just hard for me to look at you with both of my eyes open. You want to steer for a while? Thank you. I thought he has sea powers. Can't he just like make the right. boat like, like move go? the water? Oh, yeah. Am I am I uh, not understanding something here? I think we're both understanding, <laughs> and executives that were involved were like, "What else can we <laughs> add in here?" I was in the mountains one day, and some campers showed up. And when they saw me, they screamed. And I'm pretty sure I smiled. Because I'm a psychopath. <laughs> People look at me, and they see a monster. A sea of monster? Sometimes I think maybe they're right. No, you're, you're so sweet, buddy. You're not a monster. Don't be so hard on yourself. See, like, this talk should have meant more. Easy for you to say. You never doubt yourself or think you're less than you are. Say you do all the time. Thank you, brother. Come here. What? Percy, you should have said me too. He seems okay. I mean, I really don't get what your problem with him is. It's going to be a big reveal. And I think the monsters were Cyclopses. Yeah, okay. Because you don't know what I know about them. Girl, why have you not shared that? Okay, yeah. yeah. Got it. His kind killed Talia. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, it's not something I like talking about. You guys don't seem that concerned about Grover being missing. Right. They brought him up once, and then they still haven't found him. What is that? It's the sea of monsters. Is it? Are they in the Bermuda Triangle? Why are we stopping? Just looks like a storm to me. I should have used two hands. You think? Oh, God. It's... Y'all can control the water. It does, like, there's no tangibility to this movie anymore. Like, there's no, it, it just feels so fake. Everything feels so Yeah, cheap. like surface <laughs> level, right? Yeah. I don't, something must have gone oh. terribly wrong in the production of this movie. Yeah. I feel like executives got involved and were like, add sharks in the water too. Those aren't sharks. What are they? Help! Or maybe it was just like a bad script. I don't know. I mean, it's just like... It's the if, but the way that the production is coming together is not relating to the audience in oh, a way they're that... they're in it, a mouth. Whoa, that's... The Kraken? That looks cool. It's cryptids. Do you guys see these monsters? Oh. Ah. 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 Pretty sure that would have popped that life raft. That's a cool... 
Okay, girl, what can you do? Into the belly. Whoa, spooky. If this movie was great, it would make a really fun Disneyland ride. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. That makes me a little dizzy. Whoa. Clever way to transition. Oh, from maybe CGI. that's why the animated was that type of like stone color in the back. Like it looks like the animation that they used to describe Kronos. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, everything that disappears in the Bermuda Triangle, well, this is where they end up. Oh, come on! Uh, Clarice! Oh, there she is. Clarice! Hey! Nice ship. Yeah, my dad's got tons of this stuff left over from wars throughout history. It's Ooh, digesting. It's like water rafting. Is it gonna throw up? Could there be another end? Doesn't it poop? Maybe. Is that the butthole? What in Hades is going on with my engine? Is it ready yet? Almost, ma'am. They're working on it. Is he supposed to be a zombie? Zombies? Okay. They literally tried to add every <laughs> aspect of every like cool adventure movie into this movie. But man, they, it, everything is a joke, though. Yeah, I know. Which I don't. It's not hitting like it could, but... <laughs> Yeah, maybe he can control the water and get them out of there. Yeah, right? <laughs> feel like his main power is just it, not well, utilized right, in this movie at all. all. Neither is Cyclops. You steer. I'll shoot. All hands below Jack. The enemies are finding a way to work together. Ooh. You should watch what you eat. That's the one line that they wrote down into the writing room, and they were all like, yeah. <laughs> Go! No kidding, genius. Are right, you, Percy? Just don't forget. Forget what? This is all your idea. What's wrong with this idea? Yeah. Also, what is the girl doing right now that can't, like... Hopefully she's not on the deck and not breathing. Okay, Man. they made it. They were trapped there. I was so nervous. For about six minutes, according to the timer here on this wow. recording. Wow. <laughs> that was amazing. This movie is terrible, guys. Yeah. <laughs> this is not a good movie. We'll find Grover. Finally, Grover gets brought back up. Like, there's no struggle. <laughs> no, not at all. He <laughs> shot it once or twice, and then that it was done. It is, and everyone looks so polished. Yeah, and I wanted the girl, the regular girl, to be like, wait, are we going underwater? Because, like, I can't breathe like y'all. Look, I know this sounds insane, but it's kind of like my dyslexia. But instead of being able to read Greek, I can see math lines. 30, 31. The numbers! Oh, that's where they come into play. 75, 12 degrees west. That's where Polyphemus and the Fleece are. Change course, southwest. Aye, aye. Sorry. Why? Stop. I know. Shut up, movie. Too many jokes <laughs> that up. are not working. Shut up. <laughs> I know some people probably feel that way about Tara and I right now, but this movie's got to shut up. Everyone's going to be like, Gregory didn't give it a chance. <laughs> Let it breathe. This breathe movie. Is that Santa Monica? Is oh, no. Is? No, it's too big. Okay, so this is what Florida looks like. Polyphemus lives in an amusement cool. park. No, he lives on an island. But the goddess Circe thought building an amusement park on top of it was a good idea. It really wasn't. It's a great idea. Well, let's turn us right around then. Find us a place to dock. And let's go ride a roller coaster. Maybe they wanted to make it, like, more kid-friendly or something? Maybe. I mean... It's definitely not working for us adults here. I but mean, it, there's it lacks, some... It lacks so much... like Luster? It's not genuine. There's no heart. Right. I agree. It feels very surface. Yeah. We don't have time to search this whole place. You know what? I don't think we have to. Plummet of death? It looks like something really big went through there. I think it looks like something big went through the entire thing. <laughs> 
At least there's no line. Hilarious. Ha 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 ha. I hate all of you. I'm not watching your show. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is Sorry, so bad. He's out. I, I have double person checks. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it makes I'm me glad they have to ride the ride. I'm like, please make them ride a ride. Like, just take us out of this and let's just ride a ride for a second. This supposed to be the boulder Polyphemus used to trap Odysseus when he was returning from the Trojan War? Yeah, that's right. I know stuff. There must have been something in Grover's contract. <laughs> Can I be on set that, for a like, limited it, period of time? <laughs> <laughs> I can't take this anymore! Make this look cool. Yeah, please. I haven't had a decent meal since those half-bloods you brought. <sighs> Grover. Why are you wearing a dress? I'm having a really bad day. Hey, do not let that go viral. I fucking hate this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's, they really tried, but this like, so it's annoying. not delivering. This is so annoying. Now things are so bad, I even had to eat my own sheep. The whole flock. <laughs> Drop me, and I promise I'll never hear the end of it. You guys whisper so loud. <laughs> <laughs> What a terrible plan. These guys are my friends. You piss at with one eye. You're no Cyclops. You're a traitor to your kind. To be honest. Huh? Yeah, Percy. All right, man. <laughs> Fetch. Hot potato. <laughs> Ew. Spat. Mm -mm. No, thank you. Hey, yo, Clopsies. Huh? I quit. Wait, you're a dude? Use the line, dude. This is modern, modern comedy. Come on. Go, 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 go. Do that, please. It's like a juvenile experience. <laughs> Sequels usually mature. <laughs> <laughs> this one regressed. This one. You hear me? I do like this set a lot, though. Yeah. That's, that's a really fun thing to play with. It's just, and other we than don't that, have the heart. And other than that dude line, I right. thought he was not a bad character. Yes. Well done. I think because this is in the sea that they're going for like a swashbuckling vibe. Yeah. Like there are elements of it that feel Indiana Jones esque. I agree. Yeah. It's just the delivery is bad working. <laughs> <gasps> oh. Like that should have been a moment where we're like, oh, he's sacrificing himself, but None of the moments that they want to hit are hitting. You do it for me. Oh my god. No, oh, we liked you. You're the only one with who is like so nice and positive. Why did he have to die? I hope the water can heal. I his bet it will. <laughs> it's okay. He's a god. He'll be all right. He fell into aqua. We haven't really spent time with Percy and Tyson bonding. No, not at all. It was that moment. It's like a couple of sentences. On the boat <laughs> yeah, yeah. that they tried to make work. That's why I was like, I don't, we should be yeah. feeling something here and I'm not. You used to be one of us. And then I woke up. Go woke, go broke. You know, it seems like this movie went, is you explore more, but it feels smaller. <laughs> yeah. I like, think because there's a huge emotional disconnect. Yeah. All we ever wanted was a brother, but I was too wrapped up in myself. So it feels like a seven different movies in one. I destroy Olympus, just like the Oracle said. Forget the Oracle. You're worried about your destiny, then write a new one. Yeah. You're angry at Poseidon for ignoring you to show him why he shouldn't. Yeah, you do that. You're upset about Tyson? Make sure he didn't die for nothing. What well, Annabeth the Sandpurse is that we're with you. Why me? I mean, who voted me leader? Buddy, all that stuff in the attic voted you leader. Put your hands Come up. on, Clarice, get with the program. Good girl. Lord Kronos, he who was betrayed by his son. Well, you see, like the first movie, you spent time with like, you actually got to check in with gods and mythological yeah. characters. And here it's. It's just they, one thing <laughs> to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. See, like they keep calling it like these are half bloods and stuff, but they just feel like generic humans. <laughs> I <laughs> Every, agree. Everyone does. Yeah. They've dumbed down Percy's abilities, Annabeth's ability. They've dumbed everyone down. Everyone down. Like we didn't really get to see much except from yeah. like. A thermos? But it doesn't make it feel more grounded. It feels less substantial. I agree. <laughs> because we're not using their realistic powers like in the movie to actually 
It's been, uh, it's been a while since I've seen that. I've never complained this much. <laughs> 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 I've complained so much. <laughs> Grover, hands. Look, try not to cut them off. I'm pretty attached to them. Good job. I mean, he could have just lifted the blade up. Right, and then the gone up, and right then down, sliced. <laughs> sliced it. He could have, but How not, we make not in this out of movie, this? Greg. <laughs> I have to get to the fleece. So what are we supposed to do? The exposition is killing me. We know you have to get to the fleece. I mean, I guess people need to be reminded, but I think you should trust your audience a little bit more to remember stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Nice come pow kick. Kill them all. Hi, brother. He was healed. Tyson's been dead for nine minutes, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's a short time. He dropped right in the water, healed him up real, real nicely, real quick. The water, it healed me. Did you guys like forget? I know. Did, like, what happened to Percy? Did I don't for, forget he forgot everything? everything. Like, and it's funny because in the beginning of the movie, you see him put his hand in there yeah. and heal. And it's like, he's more than you, Percy. He's a full on God. Guys, he called him brother, but we were talking over it. I'm sorry. We have subtitles. <laughs> brother. Brother. He rises. Kronos. Master, I brought you back. Those pieces coming together kind of remind me of Thanos. What do I call him? Thanos. 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 Oh my Thanos. God. Thanos. You guys, <laughs> forgive me. Your great grandson. My favorite. Devour him. Eat him. Devour him. We remember how you used to eat your children I know, in the animation. Luke, God, Luke is so stupid. He's the, a terrible villain. <laughs> that's kind of a cool effect, yeah, actually. Yeah, that's like, awesome. It's like, as, it's like matter it's like coming Tetris together. It's like Tetris with yeah. like... <laughs> that's cool. Uh, uh, it's a hard element to take Oh, in. boy. It's like the monkey werewolf scorpion. Grover again. Oh. It's fine. You guys will stop caring about it. Wow. Homeboy just keeps getting saved. Okay. It's like a boss battle. Is it like put the genie back in the bottle kind of a thing? Yeah, it's got to like slice it down. For the curse of blade. Curse blade shall reap. That's how you save Olympus, Percy. Now slice all those little pieces. Yeah, stab him to death. This is actually really cool, the yeah. way the villain's done. Yeah. I agree. The and forming the pieces and reforming. And yeah. The god that killed you with it in the first place, my father. Percy Jackson, their destiny was written long ago. No! <laughs> I did not believe that, no, at all. By fulfilling uh, my cool. death, <laughs> fulfilling the destiny that was written, I make my own destiny. Right. <laughs> Where's Luke? Does he come out too? Oh, good. Oh, yes, he's with the Cyclops. Mm -hmm. Nom, nom, nom. You look delicious. Half blood, just in time for dinner. Sorry, Luke. That was an Indiana Jones. But do, but do. This movie needed like what? an extra 20 to 30 minutes to breathe, but I can't wait for it to be over. Yeah. Simultaneously. I, I am, my ears are hurt. I know. Your ears aren't used to the headphones anymore. Oh, oh, shit. Whoa. Wow. wow. What the hell? Okay. That's Did not expect that. These, like, inserts the directors get some character shouting is right. terrible. You shot a Grover saying Annabeth. Right. Oh, 
Wow, that didn't seem so hard. He's running away now? That's it? Morphing uh, back. Oh. Oh, that was so easy. All they had to do was cut off his leg? Come here. Give me the fleece. Come on. We make our own destinies, right? So show me. I have faith in you. Oh, Clarice is crying. Oh, that's sad. Don't they have, like, powers? They can do something. Maybe they can take the sweat and tears and use it to... Yeah, use okay. the... I was going to say, like, the fleece. Doesn't it have... <gasps> she's going to become the new Talia? Like, she's going to live on forever and be the guard now? Oh, no. He healed no, her. Okay, no, cool. They're not... They're nowhere near the camp. Right, that's she true. She would put a barrier around but this maybe, amusement park. <laughs> maybe, maybe it would reach all the way to the camp, Gregory. I don't know. If anyone else wants to die tonight, at least we have this. Guys, she was dead for approximately 90 One seconds. One second. <laughs> it was way less than that, Greg. It was like five seconds. What you did for Percy, that was um, not so vicious and dangerous. Really changed her mind about you, kid. Cyclops really has to go a long way. That moon's pretty. I like moons. <laughs> we have to find joy in the small things in this. <laughs> This was your quest. Well, I couldn't have done it. Well, I think you should be the one who gets to do the honors. Whoa. Wow. Logan Lerman had to time his exact delivery <laughs> to match that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I think you should be the one to get the Deliver honors. <laughs> Here you go, Talia. You're resurrected. Maybe Talia wants to move on. Yeah, maybe Talia was over being the, <laughs> maybe the boundary. Maybe Talia was being a fr friggin' tree. Yeah. <laughs> <you know? laughs> They did it, guys, of all that danger that was kept happening throughout this movie of people coming in and they had to protect. I was so, oh, wait, no, we never saw anything happening to the camp the entire time. Not at all. I forgot Except for that. why they needed the golden fleece to begin with. <laughs> because of that one gold bowl, but it was only our main characters that fought him and the rest of the camp ran away. Bring it in. We still make you wear your shades. You still make everyone else uncomfortable around here, Cyclops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We accept you, but we uh, love you for but you, who you are. You look weird, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's just hard to look at you. Like I really you. like you. I, I love you, but you're my it's brother. Like, but uh, it really does. Not you guys, when you're watching you, this, close one eye. It's easier. If you haven't had, you haven't lived. Is Cheers. Saying? Is that from the first movie? Too? No, it's from what uh, I know. That happened at the coffee shop, but they're bringing oh, it back. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. We don't need these anymore. Oh, there you go. That's we, we love you for who you of. are. How could he see through those shades? If it was like the, right, it was it's like it's right, right in the middle of the eye. I'm like, why wasn't it like one whole piece of glass? <laughs> Should have been like a visor. Yeah. yeah. Finding out you have a destiny is a lot like finding out you have a half brother who's a cyclops. It might not be as bad as you think. Okay. Yes, that's the lesson of the movie. Yeah, <laughs> it just doesn't hit. Annabeth was guarding a tree last night, and something happened. Is Talia back? It was even more powerful than we thought. Oh, it brought her back? Oh, good thing she grew up. Yeah. <laughs> She's a full-grown Talia now. <laughs> with a leather jacket. Oh, right, she had a leather jacket as a kid. Well, Wait, she no. looks, is that the same Talia? I, I don't remember. I she looks exactly like the little Talia. Okay, so it is the same little girl. Yes. All right. Percy. I don't uh, think so. This is pretty tall. Pretty tall. <laughs> no, not the same little girl. I'm just saying they did a good job making her look like. What's your name? I'm Talia. You know her name. Talia. Like, why did we ask that? What? Another living child of the eldest what? gods. Why did we ask that? What? Maybe it wasn't me. Maybe the oracle meant Talia all along. Who are you narrating to? Could she be our salvation? <laughs> Who are you talking to her now? Cause of our destruction. It's because he was narrating the beginning, so he has to narrate the end. Is it over? He's got to be talking to someone. <laughs> okay. Who's he talking? Uh, my ears hurt. Wow. Thor, Thor Frudenthal. Yeah. That is a hell of a name to direct that's, a movie like this. That's and he, a lot. This did not not do the 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 juice. 
Big thanks to G Fuel for continuing this awesome partnership we got going on. I've joked about, well, a truth, actually. I've consistently taken less pay in order to get a bigger bulk order of G Fuel. Reason being, I actually sought this partnership out myself, since I'd already been a longtime G Fuel user. And you may have already noticed, whether before or during filming, there's a good chance I or my co-host are being energized by G Fuel. And as someone who's become especially passionate about mental and physical health, especially during our 10 to 12 hour workdays, this has been a lifesaver. It really does stand out for being healthier than other options, no sugar. Sugar, no gluten, and more importantly, no crash, which helps keep me focused and energized. And there's a few of the hosts here who generally don't like energy drinks. And now, every day, they take from the stash. And I'm happy they like it, but I hate having less on my shelf. I gotta learn to say no. But lately, I've been more into the tubs than the cans. Weird sentence to say, but it's true, because of the efficiency. Also, the variety for blending options. Because they have a wide range of flavors. Sometimes I use it for pre-workouts or blending into my shakes. But usually, I can just take my time drinking it or down it really quick, especially for that essential afternoon boost. And what's more, the one I've become excited especially reliant on lately are their hydration drinks. I use them about one to two times daily. They help replenish electrolytes, have no caffeine, but still help with that focus and energy. Honestly, these drinks have been a game changer in our lives. And sincerely, they've helped me reduce stress and boost overall well-being. Because here's the real deal. If you value your health and are looking for that consistent, clean energy to power you through the day, G Fuel really is the answer. All I can say is trust me, once you try G Fuel, you'll notice the difference in your energy level, focus, and just overall performance. Don't just take my word for it. Give it a shot and feel the change for yourself. So you can visit the link in the description box or the pinned comment, gfuel.com slash discount slash reject nation to get 20% off select tubs. Thank you again, G Fuel. It's been a great like year or so partnering up with you. Drinking you every day. No juice. There's no there juice. There was some juice. Like I really like the 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 horse dragon. Great juice. He was my favorite. Great juice, Nathan Fillion. Great juice. That's, those are the good juices. It's a good juice. Actually, also the haunted mansion creature when we go in the attic. Good juice. Good juice. I yep. love it. Animatronic. Yep. All right, guys. If you're listening to us up on Spotify, we <laughs> just watched Percy Jackson's Sea of Monsters. Here was my internal emotional trajectory of this. <laughs> was like I can't wait. I, I don't know, man. This is actually doesn't seem half bad. Mm-hmm. In like the first 10 minutes. And then as it kept going, I was like, all right, some things are a little bit wonky and off. But you know what? It might just be like not. A, I, could, I might be one of those movies that I could recognize as not being great, but probably going to have a fun time. Right. Then I started to slowly get a headache. And I was like, oh, God, you know, I'm really I'm really finding myself just trying to lean on the positives right now. I'm really <laughs> trying. I'm pointing out some bads. But I don't like the way this is making me feel. Mm-hmm. And then I broke at some point. I don't know when I broke. It was like the hour, 45-minute mark. It was on the yacht was on that the we yacht. really lost him. It was like the 50-minute. He minute. was gone. It was after the, the caboose. What was the thing that showed it? The, 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 the multicolored horse on the sea. Yes. Was that called horseradish? What the hell was that I'm thing just, called? No, it was called hippocampus. Hippocampus. I think that's what they called it, but that's a part of your brain, so I think I'm wrong because the hippocampus no, no, is th- up. I think it's called hippocampus. Really? Okay. Well. Yeah. And then when that it was sometime after that when they were when it just looked like three dumbasses riding some <laughs> type of like mechanical bull thing uh, on, a, on a you could just see like the green screen yeah. set and them just like now insert the weird horse. Uh, I, I thought this was a really uh, awful movie. This was really bad. Like people yeah. have been saying this is a really bad movie. And when people say that to me, I go in going, what Give if I chance. end up liking it? Yeah, because yeah. we thought we were going to like it yeah. in the beginning. And, and then as it just kept going, I was like, wow, this is getting worse by this, like by the minute. And yeah. and, and it kept getting more. It, it was like watching something where as each scene went by, it just kept getting more rushed and rushed and rushed. Like the timeline of each scene and moment just kept getting more and more condensed down to its bare minimums mm-hmm. <laughs> as it kept, it's like, it's a bad film. Yeah. Like I it's agree. A, it's a genuinely bad movie. <laughs> it's like they mixed up mm-hmm. multiple films and scenes that weren't really, and they just try to connect them. Like the fact that we only saw Nathan Fillion, who's the dad of Luke, like for a second for him to do a setup is the yeah. same thing of like his little snakes do a setup. And then the hippocampus does like a setup with Poseidon helps them. And then like uh, other setup with like the yacht with Clarice and the zombies. It was like executives got involved. Maybe the script initially was good. But the way that I think this was directed with all of the jokes, that did not hit. The sarcasm, all of it, it just did not have. They wouldn't stop. And it was so surface level. It's like we can laugh at stuff if I believe 
if I believe them and I believe like what's happening. And the only time I laughed was Nathan Fillion because I believe him. He played it uh, off the cuff. I, I believe the stuff he was saying. And I believed the tone of that scene fed into what was actually happening. I don't think that that made it like a way better movie. I think we could have explored that more. I still think it was broken up into a bunch of different parts that were just mushed together to be like, we want zombies. We want this like horse that rides in the water. We also need this like thermos and we don't know what it's going to do. And I'm like, but they have... Their powers are with water and they're on water. That's the thing that angers me so much. And you know this about me and you guys know this, that in a horror movie, when something's happening and someone kills someone and leaves the knife in the body and then runs away, you know, I hate that. If there's a weapon, you better grab it. And that's the same here, meaning they have a weapon within them working with water. They're on water and they use a thermos. Like I, I didn't, I didn't like that because again, as you said, we weren't seeing their powers being utilized in the way that they should at all. And we didn't get to bond at all. Like when he was like, I got a headache and then I started to feel something. I'm like, I don't think I felt anything except there was some fun things that I like to look at. I love the little hippocampus. It was so sweet. Like I, I, I loved him, but, um, the rest of it, I didn't feel connected to it in a way that they wanted me to. They wanted the moment with the two brothers on the boat when they were like brother and they wanted us to feel something. They wanted us to feel something when the brother gets killed. We didn't. They wanted us to feel something when Annabelle dies. We don't really like they, yeah. they wanted all of these like heartfelt moments, uh, especially when they hug at the end, they call each other brother. They wanted us to feel something that's supposed to be a sentimental moment. It wasn't. And I can guarantee you there's no audience member that was like, we had enough time here and enough breath in here for that to build up for us to feel something. Yeah. It- that is the problem with this. Ent- this movie just suffers from basic filmmaking problems. Mm hmm. Like I, I can even get behind bad CGI. I can get behind all that, uh, but you can really feel that this movie uh, lacked any. There's no weight to it. There's no tension. There's no excitement. Uh, everything just zips by of not allowing you to soak anything in. For there's like this. Uh, here's what I looked up. I was like Mark Guggenheim. I know this name. Mm-hmm. Now looking at this guy's credits. He mainly works on like CW shows. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, this feels like, like a TV uh, like a show. T- like one of those network TV shows. Yeah. Where you gotta hit this beat, you gotta hit this beat, and you gotta this joke, this joke, this joke, a lot of exposition, mm-hmm. this joke. It's paced like one too. Yeah. Where they do like an event TV episode of like a crossover of a bunch of DC stuff and they're like, we gotta just jam pack this shit in there. Mm-hmm. Um, but for a movie, though, uh, yeah, I, I didn't. I felt like they just robbed us of who Percy Jackson is as a character, and I had to look it up. I was like, I could have sworn Annabeth is like a skilled something or another, right. but she's just she like had a, no power. She was just, just like a human. She's just like a, a woman on That's the what journey. Was like, what she's was her power? Here. And like, she's a exceptional warrior. I didn't see any of that. She didn't there. fight at all. Um, a weaver. A weaver? I don't know. Good at weaving. Well, then weave something up. Uh, agility, reflexes, endurance. Yeah, we saw her as like a endurance. badass in the yeah, last one. Yeah, and she did nothing. She's like a badass. Yeah. Uh, and Yeah, and she's no, so she just bland. sat around as a love interest. Kind was of. it even a love interest? Yes, they tried. Like, they tried to like do a little friend to add around. It's the exact same thing of the hug with the brother. There was a hug on the ship where she's always going, thank God you're, you're alive, Percy. And then they have the pickup of her going, no when he dies so it's like we're trying to add that in there she cares about person really? most then at the very end yes this is what they're trying to do they didn't they failed at it then at the very end the, he gives her a hug by the tree and it's supposed to be a thing where they're like they love each other but we again we didn't see her powers at all she was not a badass Clarice came in and was more of a badass and she was just like there next to Percy cheering him on and being his like cheerleader which I I don't like that at all like I want to see girls being badasses always we didn't see that let me see okay direction and vision change happen on this they saw change in the directorial team 
with Thor replacing Chris Columbus, director. I of first cannot folk. I can't believe you can read that while it's moving. Changes okay. in direction and vision can lead to inconsistencies in tone and character development, which some fans and critics felt were very evident in the sequel compared to the original. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, yeah it is spot okay. on. So I think Chris Columbus was supposed to return, and then this Thor Frudenthal guy got stuck with the Thrown script. In. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and was like, and, I don't know how to execute it, this. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, Mm -mm. Sure, deviates from the book. Why the hell not? Yeah, I, that doesn't bother me because I haven't read the book. Uh, Either. Yeah, the CGI was terrible in here. The, there was budget constraints that really happened. Uh, you can really feel that. I, it, like I said, when watching it, that you're, you're traveling all over the map here. You're going to the sea, but somehow everything feels so like diluted and small scale, and then mm -hmm. it felt uh, fake. Everything just felt fake. There was, yeah. It didn't feel tangible where... Like in the first movie, you hang out with, you see like Zeus and Poseidon at the beginning of the first one, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, and then you go see them and when they're like giants at the end and, and somehow this felt smaller, like you got Luke and the, and the other half bloods, but they're just like a, him and a bunch of dudes and like a henchman, complete black clothing, yeah. you know, like, a, a, like out a of a boat. different movie. <laughs> yeah. And like, also how are we not, how just all of a sudden is, uh, what is his name? Um, a Bond guy, a different guy now. Like, how is Cyclops or... Uh, not Cyclops. Wait, Cyclops. Like, or uh, not Cyclops. I'm sorry. The the horse half man. Centaur. The centaur is not... Uh, what was oh, his... I mean, Pierce Brosnan anymore. I mean, I think it's just a different casting. Yeah, okay. But, like, all the kids are the same. Like... Yeah, Pierce. It's fine. Why did like, you want to return to this script? I know. He, he, maybe he read the script and was like, no thanks. Yeah, this movie is very underdeveloped. And it also pacing. said it's it was just, rushed. Yeah, rushed yes. development. You can feel that. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. So apparently, like, we share a lot of the symbol. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know any specifics about Me neither. why people did not like this. I didn't know jack about why people didn't like it. Mm -hmm. All I know is that people had issues. I personally thought it might have just been more that fans of the book hated this one even more. Yeah. So I thought, all right, we'll be able to we go might like it because we yeah. haven't read the book. Yeah, and no, this this movie, um, it it doesn't allow anything to soak in, and and like these deaths, these fake out deaths that last a total of like anywhere from one to five minutes are just total bullshit, <laughs> and uh, it's annoying. It was a really annoying film. It yeah, was, it was it was not even like so bad. It's good. It was a it was an annoying film. I agree. It was really annoying that the way. They just threw in these, like, the taxi cab characters. I enjoyed them, but I was like, why? And the snakes and different little characters are just, I felt like, yeah, maybe that's in the book. And in the book, if I was reading it, I'd be like, this is dope because it's a cool idea. Yeah. Um, but the way that it was executed did not hit with me at, at all. I just was like, these things and the way they're being executed is not hitting me with any groundedness or uh, any emotionality or furthering us along with the characters and how they feel. Yeah. Like I, it was just like throw these characters in here and what, and we're going to throw in a bunch of monsters and like all of those monsters are going to be easily killed. Like all we're going to have to do is it's like true, stab yeah. it or cut off a leg and they're going to be done. There's no, there's stakes. no stakes. Like they didn't even, the one stake that if they thought that the stake was huge with the bull, that was still very easy. That was a cool way that he killed him with the sword. We thought that was smart and yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, but the rest of it was like cut off this thing and then it turns into stone and is dead at the end. I'm like, why is that so easy? There's no actual fights in there. And there was a huge opportunity for Annabelle to be a badass and kill some of those things and actually see a fight happen. But okay, budgetary stuff. Maybe they just didn't have the time, but it was all way too rushed. And obviously, I'm really surprised that a studio is going to have a screening for a film like this and people have to go and watch it and give notes. Yeah. <laughs> and that everyone was just like, yeah, we'll just like put it out. Like we don't have time to fix it. I get, I, there had to be some smart people in there that were like, this is crap. If you, what happened here? Like, where were the producers at that were like, Wait, why is this happening? Why it, Why are they asking Talia what your name is? Yeah. We had been discussing the entire film about Talia. And why, and are the they, why are they giving this moment to Percy Jackson? Yeah. Why are they giving it to Annabeth? Right. You know, like Annabeth was the one who was there at the loss. 
I agree. Oh, that's all. It's a, he has no idea who she is. And it's she a, does no <gasps> fighting for it. Yeah. No fighting with the, the it's, that's odd to me. Um, yeah, I don't think the action's good other than like a couple of shots that look cool. Like when they're fighting Kronos at the end, I thought that was actually really well yeah. realized. It was like a cool video game level where it's, it's like magma and rock that's like dispersing and coming back together, like yeah. matter constantly forming. I thought that was cool. But again, like that was, it was short lived. A, a, a lot of things that could have been, um, that could have had more tension and like, Oh, if how to figure out how to beat this guy. It's usually kind of just a hack and slash job is mm-hmm. what they do. It's like there's, there's nothing clever about it. And uh, the acting to me, I, I don't want to – it's kind of – it's like the acting is not great in this movie, but yeah. they, a lot of these actors are back from the first one, and they, a lot of them were pretty good in the first one. I agree. So I I think a lot of it comes down to the direction of mm-hmm. things. Like you can yeah. feel oddities of placement of like – action you have this person yell the line we need to right. get a pickup here we need to get an insert here like it's it's edited poorly yeah and uh i don't know it doesn't even feel like a proper sequel to the first one to me not at all and yeah. also when they're in the in the cave with the cyclops and they're they're going around with the fleece that's supposed to be the time when the team is fully coming together with clarice there where they're like take it and they throw it to clarice yeah. and clarice does it that's supposed to be like now we're a team and we're we're fighting this together, and like now we we feel something. We're together now, um, and I felt nothing. Yeah. I was just like, they're just throwing this rag around, and you're supposed to feel something that they're a team. Then, well, but we don't. It's a bland, flat adventure that doesn't feel adventurous. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and I don't know. I, it is disappointing. It is a really disappointing movie. Looking yeah. at Rotten Tomatoes, it has a 54% audience score, which is rotten. Still means more liked it than didn't, oh, which is okay. surprising to me. Uh, There's some moments in there where it's like oh it's God, broken yeah, I don't give up. A shit who likes this? I, 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 I know, right? Movie. Like we might get Tara's first video back, and we're just gonna get a bunch of shit for Tara. Oh man! <laughs> but, no, but I'm like, there are some parts in there. If I could remove the scene with Nathan Philly, and I'm like, that's a great movie. I'll watch it all day long. I love the horse dragon, the hippocampus. I love him so much, even though it was weird that he was just like in the water. We're supposed to feel something, and I didn't. My main concern always, and I, I know it's the same with Greg, is that I. I need to feel something. I need yeah. to be connected emotionally for me to want to go on a journey. A ju- movies are my best friend. And the reason they are my best friend is because they take me on an emotional journey to where I can completely lose myself in the lead character or other characters and laugh with them or cry with them or feel the things that they're feeling. And in this movie, it just felt like we have a billboard, a uh, 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 ex. Uh, what am I call a white erase board with a bunch of notes and this is how the movie is going to go and these are the scenes and we're yeah. going to add them together and that's it sell it and I there was no interconnectedness to make us feel what we should sure there were cool shots and things that looked cool and some camera moves that and points of view that were awesome and and uh yeah, stuff like that was cool to look at. I, I do understand there's mm. very cool shots in this. And there's cool, like, demons. And when we saw the girl that were like, that that looks awesome in the in the attic. Like, I love that stuff. And I even love the three ladies in the taxi. There's certain things about it that I thought were fun. But for me, at the core of a thing, I want to go on a journey. I couldn't connect emotionally with any of what was going on for me to go on a really good journey where I really felt something. Amen to that. It's a listless experience. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just left me dejected, man. Oh, God. Yeah, it's, I don't know how people got together and saw that screening and went, yeah, we should release it anyway because you're really doing, I guarantee you, a there's disservice a reason, to the people a reason, who read the book. There's a reason it ended the franchise. In the, yeah. same, in the move for the movie. Right. There's, a, there's a reason they'd never made a part three. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Because clearly even a fan base around this one wasn't strong enough to, uh, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? To Rally continue. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even if like beyond box office, sure, it probably didn't make as much money. Right. Um, but yeah, like they couldn't take anything. It didn't feel lived in. It, every, they, they un, the movie kept undercutting itself at yeah. any chance it had. Uh, to be something where it, it merited something of weight. But, mm-hmm. all right. Wow, it's been a while since I've seen something I was this negative about. Yeah. It's been a long time. It's been a minute. It's been a long time. Man, it's been a while. 
Like I've yeah. seen shit where I, I was like, man, this is really hard. <laughs> yeah. I was really negative about that, man. I don't like the way I don't like the way it makes me feel. We lost him at the yacht, and then <laughs> like once the, the yacht feel. happened, he got he started just, to get progressively uh, worse. Yeah, it's just like, nah, man, I just can't stop bitching he about this. He can't. He couldn't. Yeah. He couldn't help it. I, it was, it's it was like if we're if we're bored and we don't believe it, the only thing that we can go to is just like we're mad that we couldn't go on a journey and we love yeah. movies. But, all right, this video's done. We tried. Let us know if you should watch the show. Yeah, let us know if we should watch the show <laughs> and if can, it's way better. I mean, I hear the show's good. Maybe the maybe if we did the show ourselves, will save us. Maybe we did such a service that watching the the worst one. Yeah. Then we watched that show no, and we're and just we're like, like it's the best show thing ever. is the Bible. <laughs> the yeah. <show. laughs> it's the Bible. <laughs> this show is amazing. I would love that for us to just get a little life back and believe in TV and movies again. And believe in the power of Percy Jackson. Yeah. And his story. Well, we love you. I love you so much. I'm glad to be back, yeah, even man. though it was you not sound, a good movie. Yeah, yeah, but you sound sharp, Tara. You sound sharper than ever. I'm sounding sharp. You're Thanks talking, to, and I'm just like, damn, you're sharp. You're I'm sharp. doing sharp stuff. Thanks to Nicotine Patches and Prozac. I'll explain that later. I love, <laughs> ask me if you want on my Instagram. You guys know where to follow me, Tara Erickson. I'm on all the things. I love you. Love you guys. Peace. Bye. <laughs> Cameron Lane, my friend. Oh, we got a new patron of the day Gia. over here. Gia. You slid your way into the slot. You know what that means? Traditional. Oh. Cameron C stands for calculated because you knew how to slip your way in here. A stands for almanac because your brain is an almanac of facts and figures of the year at hand. Mem for martyr because you pity yourself a lot. E for erotic because let's face it, you are. R for rascal, because, man, you just constantly get into trouble. Ooh is what O stands for, and it's what I say every time I see you. Just, ooh, break me off a piece. N for uh, Nicaragua, your favorite place to visit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Vacation baby. So, Cameron, Cameron, happy to have you here as one of our super sexy rejects. The sexiest and the superest. Congratulations, my friend. If you ever see us in person, go, hey, I'm Cameron Lane. Mm. I found a way to drive into Lane to get into the Ashana. Uh -huh. uh -huh. You sexy son of a bitch. See you in Nicaragua. Reject out. <laughs>